Hey guys, welcome to numerologist.com. It's me, Vanessa, from Beyond Your Sun Sign. This is your reading for November 9th to November 16th. Let's begin. Okay, so as always, we want to take a deep breath in and exhale. Now think of a number between one and three. One, two, or three. Okay, so if you chose card number one, nothing to see here, keep moving, everything is great. You know, just make sure that you pay it forward. You're finally in an upswing, so recognize the times when you've been down and give gratitude for those down times so you can now properly see the upswing. You wouldn't know that you're in an up if you weren't in that down. So it's time to give gratitude to the up and down um, for showing you you know, where you're at and giving you that perspective and then pay it forward. You know, it's something as simple as saying, I'm having a great day. I'm going to make it my mission today to, ch to change somebody's life, you know, and even just having that mission, even if you don't change somebody's life, imagine what you're doing. Imagine what energy you're putting out there. Imagine what ripple effects you're creating with the intention of changing somebody's life. So you see that homeless person, you know what? I'm going to give him 50 bucks. That is going to change his life right now, right? It's going to change everything for him. Um, or, you know, even something as simple as, you know, behind the mask, you see that somebody is disgruntled and just, you know, maybe not really pulling down and breathing, but like pulling down your mask and giving that genuine smile, like going out of your way to say hello to somebody uh, that you wouldn't necessarily say hi to that you can tell is going through some sort of turmoil. Even if you don't get the response back, you don't get that smile back, at least you're putting that intention out there. You're putting that positive energy out there and that person will be affected. Whether or not they're gonna show it to you right away and you're gonna get that instant gratification, it will affect them in a way that when they go forward, they will create that ripple effect for you. So everything is great for you this week. Just please pay it forward. Like we need some positive energy in the universe right now. If you chose card number two, we have a young uh, fire sign. So a young uh, knight of wands. So a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This young water sign is worrying a lot. Like their thoughts are just going crazy and it's manifesting into these worries and sometimes especially with children um, when they have a lot of nosebleeds that's them overly worrying or even like picking at their nose constantly or, or something like that you want to really talk to this young fire sign figure out the source of their worries is it fear is it love is it you know a fear of abandonment a fear of loss of love how are they feeling and then ask them how you can try and mitigate that worry how you can make them feel more secure sometimes it's as simple as saying you know what how about let's get onto a routine and in that routine is a really balanced uh, nutritional meal because sometimes it's just that their diet's out of whack you know it starts there you are what you eat right so maybe it's talking to a naturopath maybe it's even just getting them crystals maybe it's getting them a uh, reiki attunement or uh, a reading to just understand where their moon sign is just Put in effort when it comes to this young fire sign because they're struggling and they're not going to ask for help because they don't necessarily know how to. So you have to intervene and it may feel awkward at first, but you're going to thank yourself and they'll eventually thank you, maybe not directly, but through their um, actions, the actions, they will thank you in the future. So just this week, do what you can to help out a young fire sign. And of course, if you need any help, just message me. I'm literally an email away. Okay, so if you chose card number three, we've got a little bit of a story here because there's three cards that popped out face up and then there's four cards that popped up face down. So the three cards that popped up face up are what you're consciously aware of, right? And then the four cards are what your subconscious is trying to protect you from because your subconscious wants you to just continue going status quo. So the three cards are the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the Queen of Pentacles. So essentially, your feelings have changed, your emotions have changed, so you want to take some sort of risk with a feminine earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So what's blocking that, what your subconscious is like, ah, 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 don't do it, is because of a past experience where you didn't find your footing within a relationship, you didn't find your power, and that caused a lot of confusion, a lot of haziness, um, which then brought in a new beginning when it comes to your foundation and that new beginning crumbled your foundation, um, made you feel powerless 
to birth anything, to give birth to anything. So this subconscious energy is the reason why you can't just feel confident taking that risk with your new feelings and emoting uh, to this Queen of Pentacles. So of course, and as always, if you need a personalized reading, don't hesitate to message me. I'm at Beyond Your Sun Sign on Numerologist. Um, I'm also beyondyoursunsign at gmail.com. Love you guys so much, and I will see you next week. Bye.